Hello everyone, I'm Jin, the TCM practitioner and the instructor in Victoria, BC, Canada. Here is my online class for ENT and eye problems for TCM practitioner and the acupuncturist. The book we use I put below here. I hope I can help the students to study and review for the class. Let's start. Okay, let's go to the notes. So nose, yeah, nose, keep the normal functions due relationship with the sound organ. And the lung, everybody know, lung open to the nose, any kind of nose problem. We're thinking about the lung first. So including external reasons and sometimes internal reasons, like a lung kidney. Exc uh, external reason usually excessive condition in the eye. And uh, some stomach disorder also can infect the nose, especially for some like heat, yeah, excessive kind of heat condition, and can cause the nose bleeding. So that's uh, we also talking about and the spleen relationship, spleen TIT function, and the body fluid circulation. If spleen TIT not working, will cause some like a dampness and phlegm accumulation, and can go to the nose, cause some discharging in there. And the gallbladder. Yeah. Gallbladder liver we couldn't totally separate. So gallbladder liver always have some heat rushing up pretty easily. So in that kind of case, they can cause the discharging in the nose, it's the yellow kind and the tuberate discharging. It. So kidney, yeah, kidney issue cause problems. Usually it's a deficiency problem. Could be in deficiency, could be young deficiency. And the kidney mainly control water metabolism and the five different kind of fluid. That's kind of a kidney disorder can cause the nose discharging or maybe dry nose. So that's the relationship. And the heart mainly issue relationship with the, like a shen disorder. Especially sometimes, like nothing to really smell, but the patient shall smell something. So that's basically belong to heart disorder. And uh, also we say heart circulation, blood, and blood sending nutrition to the nose. And the meridian relationship around the nose, the meridian relationship around the nose. Uh, certainly, stomach, large intestine meridian is pretty close around the nose, and the small intestine, small intestine meridian also close nose too. Like uh, especially we have points in there. Small intestine 18 is uh, on the side of the nose. It's not that so close, but not so not too far away. And the bladder channel on the root of the nose area. And the red meridian, do meridian also close there. So that's the meridian relationship in there. 
when we talking about the symptoms and the signs of the nose problem. So nose problems generally say we only have two symptoms there. Compare with the ear problems, it's let it be simple. Why nose blocking? Obstructed blocking there. So when nose blocking, we will blocking qi flowing and blood flowing there. So that's the first symptom. The second symptom is nose discharging. So blocking is easier. People can tell you yeah, nothing special, but the discharging. Uh, we may cause by different reasons, and we may have different kind of nose discharge. So we talk about the like the detail about the nose discharge. So acute illness, yeah, acute illness. Uh, most of they come in with the discharging, is clear kind of discharging and the watery kind of discharging. That's mainly caused by wind cold. That's the mainly acute reason caused the nose discharge. And the chronic illness, chronic illness, that's caused the discharge usually coming from deficiency. We say possible T deficiency. Also, yang disease. So, qi we say governing the qi mainly in the lungs, and the governing of yang or holding of yang is the key. So, qi disease we say maybe more lung qi disease, maybe more skin qi disease, and the yang disease, the root of yang in the qi. So from the color, we can get some basic idea, like what kind of problem in the nose. We say white color, yeah, white color. So white color kind of discharging, we say usually coming from deficiency, no heat. So in here, we mainly talking about the internal reason, certainly external reason, the EDI code will cause the mind discharging. So mainly we're talking about internal reason here. Mainly is deficiency, uh, key deficiency in the lung, or maybe key deficiency in the spleen. So we will have other symptoms related with lung PDVC or maybe spleen PDVC. That's the white color kind of discharge. And the yellow color. Yellow color means heat. Yeah, yellow color means heat. So that's basically, we say, Internal reason can cause the internal reason can cause. And the severe kind of heat may damage your body fluid and cause some dryness and even cause the bleeding. So that's for the heat part and cause the yellow kind of no discharge. And it's more yellow, even green. Even green color. So that's still caused by heat. Yeah, still caused by heat. Still possible deficiency to heat and excessive heat. Excessive heat, heat very severe, usually we call heat toxin. So from the color, give us some basic idea, but truly we need to see the whole picture. 
light was too late to cause no suicide. 